Welcome back to the program. What happens when a farmer finds the face of Christ on the side of a newborn calf? That's the premise of Michael Perry's first adult novel, Jesus Cow, the New York Times bestselling author, radio host, and resident of New Auburn, Wisconsin, is here in Madison this morning. Michael Perry, thanks for being with us. Glad to be here. So uh, we were just talking. I mean, the, the, the premise starts out with Harley Jackson, who is that farmer, uh, finding the image of Jesus on his cow. What happens after that? Well, he's not quite sure what to do. Uh, he calls his friend Billy over for advice, and his friend Billy is this big, uh, uh, he's a veteran, he was wounded in the war, uh, he's a big guy, and he likes to pass himself off as an amateur philosopher, and he's always offering these little nuggets of wisdom, except if you're really paying attention, he's actually just quoting Waylon Jennings' lyrics. <laughs> um, but he calls his friend Billy and he shows him this calf and says, man, what should I do? And Billy says, get a lawyer, and start printing t-shirts. <laughs> Did you have any concerns about writing about religion? Yes, big concerns. Uh, obviously, it's a comic novel. It's over the top. I, I reserve the right to find humor in all things. But I was raised by very devout Christians who remain so to this day. I always say about my parents, um, I can no longer say that I believe as they believe, but I try every day to be more like them. So I wasn't interested in cutting anybody off at the knees. Um, and in truth, there are some very reflective passages in the book uh, mm -hmm. where people talk about why they believe what they believe and what they hope to believe. And, you know. Is that reflective of your own journey? Oh, well, sure. I mean, I, I was raised in, in an, an obscure fundamentalist Christian sect, and that can sound scary. It was actually a very gentle and loving childhood. As I said, I, these days I refer to myself as a bumbling agnostic with traces of amateur existentialism. Um, I'm not looking for a fight. I'm just looking. Uh, but I... Uh, Yes, of course. When you make that sort of journey, I reflect on those things every day. We're all trying to find our way and be a decent person. So you are certainly well known for memoirs, uh, Population 485, uh, uh, Truck, a Love Story. What made you want to kind of delve into fiction now? Well, two things. I, w I wanted to write a book where I didn't have to fact check everything. <laughs> if I want someone to say something, I could just make <laughs> them say it. Um, and the other thing was I had this idea for a long time. I, it, this book, although it is a comic novel and there mm -hmm. are scenes that are over the top, uh, it is based on the concept of pareidolia, which is uh, it's a neurological thing where you, you look at uh, shapes and see what you want to see. And, you know, once a month somebody sees the face of Christ in a grilled cheese sandwich or they see the Virgin Mary in a water uh, pattern on the mm -hmm. wall in the basement or something yeah. like that. So it's not at all uncommon. And I, I used to write in a, in a coffee shop in Nashville called Bongo Java, and they had a cinnamon bun there in a display case that, that looked like Mother Teresa. It, and it did look like Mother Teresa, although, as I say, it, it helped to know ahead of time it was supposed to look like her. And they called it the nun bun. <laughs> and it became a, a bit of a world sensation, and they sold cups and T-shirts and that sort of thing. And then in 2005, it was stolen, and no one really knows what happened they to it. They stole the nun bun? Yes, yeah, someone stole it in the middle of the night. And they think it was in Seattle, but that one might be a fake. But anyway, that, that was, you know, I just thought, well, what would happen if just a, a guy in a small town in Wisconsin went to check his cow, and she had had a calf, and there it's a Holstein, and... On the side, the spot looks, could be construed to be the face of Christ. Michael Perry, thanks for being with us this thanks morning. Thanks for having me. The book me. is called The Jesus Cow. Michael's going to be signing tonight at Barnes & Noble on Mineral Point Road. It is free to the public, 7 o'clock tonight. It's, uh, I'm halfway through. I told you, don't ruin the ending for me. It's a wonderful <laughs> book. And I would say, as somebody who reads your work regularly, um, it's that style. So oh. it's the non fit which is a, a, a distinct compliment, I think. Oh, thank you. It's, it reads extremely well. Thank you. Thank you.